Anybody? This is Dr. Yasna. I, I need backup. Brace, come in. I have a... I'm showing disturbing symptoms. A brain fog, severe pain in the frontal lobe. A confusion. glance there are no serious injuries and yeah I'm quite concerned I don't even know how I got here well here is backup needed I repeat do you hear me for a moment, but now there's only silence. I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. can't be detected either. There weren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick wrecking. Or was it just the end of the mission? Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? It doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. It's my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression. That would be bizarre. group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... A 
was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp. But I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> he didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. A specific structure, which does not resemble any canine. Checking another object, which also doesn't match. Indeed. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. See our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. <laughs> huh. There's water on this desert. 
a planet. Warm. Oh, getting warmer. Allow the biosynosis to fall. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. Have you checked on Yasha? I was about to. Already awake. Good. I've been conscious for a while. It's fine. I can go. N not too fast. Otherwise, we'll be picking you up off the floor. Now, try to get up slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Marek. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? <sighs> sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Come on. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Bathing chamber in 50. But first, here, hold on to it and remember.
time to lose. go. Out of the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. But I can't go this way.
some planet. Such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. Hmm. If this area is volcanically active, ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here Great. A root that won't break my neck. <laughs> with you soon. Visibility could be better. Maybe I should wait. much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time.
back out again. And hop up closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. I remember you, Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the words of paradise, no radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. 
For now it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense, but I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Oh. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Coble. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. You feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell? in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Uh, Androbot. Stop. Androbot, stop. reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate.
life on Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. Uh, Novik, is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start the search soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. I see just pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate it. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. Oh, please spare me these lamentations. The only thing I can do is walk along the Dragonfly Corridor. Ah, you're not missing out on anything, Yasna. Crackling suit, thick gloves, <laughs> debris hitting the helmet's glass. <laughs> but the beach is like the one at home, right? Uh, uh, almost. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. I'm switching to manual. Koval, where are you going? Over. For a little Distance, run, 100. Uh, uh, quick recce. I'm going to take a look around. 300. Base, are you there? 500. Uh, a recce. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Buckle? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. Oh, Am I seeing this right? Dr. Krauser, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like a school of fish. This is life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? artificial robotic gizmo right from the pool. As soon as I saw it close to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal, Yasna? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, yes, sir. <laughs> Dr. Gorski, are you there?
for Crowter. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor. Is everything all right? Doctor, please. Look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Doctor Crowther at the camp. And he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils oh. respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I'd test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate the place for the landing. Not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. The Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent.
now for the robots. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? Right, the others. We've no time to lose. Exactly. All right, you tin bastard. One more time. Status? Damn piece of junk. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up. It ought to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. 
Understood. Please continue. That noise. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking. It's a drill. So damn loud. Any progress? Ah, we dig as far as the terrain and out. It'll take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. That's the data, sir. We dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right. With the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see there? Uh, more of the same. What protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters underground. Oh, I see. Oh, and... Furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once, either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski? Are you scanning those roots? Affirmative. I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still haven't reached the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, it's very old, which means these structures are even older. And what are we talking about here? A few thousand years? Tens of thousands? Uh, I can't give a precise assessment, not yet. I'm asking for a rough estimate, Merritt. Oh, well then, I guess it... It could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. Mm. Anything else? Yes. These structures almost certainly didn't form through natural processes. Almost? Well, they don't look like anything I've seen before. And you know I've seen a lot, Novick. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation for this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? I don't think it is that. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astrodata. The more research we do, the more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. Regis, we're losing reception. Koval, can you hear us? Over. Marit, we can't hear you. Damn it. What now, sir? We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Uh, excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? I can board the second lander and fly to the surface. Just now, I can't let you go alone. My leg... search radius. Got 
Someone are following the signal. Something on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross section. 